Welcome to Scary Campfire Stories. My name is Kyle Hester and I will be your host. You can support the author of this story by clicking the link in the description. And please, subscribe to the channel. Now make yourself comfortable. Let's begin, shall we? Is the comedy store haunted? Many would say, if you've been there, you will have no doubt. The Comedy Store was opened in April 1972 by comedians Sammy Shore and Rudy DeLuca. The building was formerly the home of Ciro's, a popular Hollywood nightclub owned by William Wilkerson, and later a rock and roll venue where the birds were discovered in 1964. When the venue reopened as the Comedy Store in 1972, it included a 99-seat theater as a result of the divorce settlement, Sammy Shore's ex-wife, Mitzi Shore, began operating the club in 1973, and she was able to buy the building in 1976. She immediately renovated and expanded the club to include a 450-seat main room. This is also where Polly Shore got his start, but I digress. Before the Comedy Store was the Comedy Store, it was Ciro's nightclub, run by gangsters from the 30s to the 40s. Mobsters, criminal figures, ran the night. There may have been dancing, drinking, and dining going on upstairs, but in the Ciro's basement, darker things were happening. Mob henchmen beat, tortured, and killed those who didn't pay their debts. According to legend, the stairway going into the basement still has gun-sized holes in the walls where the bullets that missed their mark, landed. The basement at the bottom of the stairs was used as a place to torture people that didn't do the mob's bidding. With so much murder and bloodshed at the comedy store, or Ciro's before then, you can assume that some of those ghosts would still hang around. Here's what people have said. A sketch artist once drew something that he thought he saw. It bore a strong resemblance to a comedian that once performed there and had died in 1991. There are other reports of guests claiming to hear the screams of the victims, though we wonder how could they be heard above the roar of laughter coming from the comedy. Some of the old celebrities who frequented the place when it was Ciro's, none other than Frank Sinatra, Marilyn Monroe, Humphrey Bogart, and Lauren Bacall, Ava Gardner, Sidney Poitier, Lucille Ball, Desi Arnaz, Mickey Rooney, Ginger Rogers, Ronald Reagan, Dean Martin, Judy Garland, and so many more. As the story goes, many hope to be written about one day by the two Hollywood gossip columnists of the day, Hedda Hopper and Luella Parsons, though that wasn't always a good thing. But let's get back to the haunting, shall we? Only first names will be used to protect those who've been haunted. Lori, who was a waitress at the club, has written a book about various ghostly encounters there. Several waitresses have told her about setting up tables in the showroom. They said, after setting the tables, they would return seconds later only to find that all of their work was undone. There was a comedian his name was Joey Gaynor. I'm sorry, I know I was only supposed to use first names, but we'll just call him Joey from now on. He worked there as a doorman. One evening, super late, he was planning to leave when he noticed that two candles were still lit on the table. He blew them out and walked away. And when he turned around, he noticed that the candles were lit again. He blew them out once more and once more they lit again one night when he was shutting the lights out in the building he suddenly found several chairs piled up on top of each other you know like in poltergeist on the kitchen table just like that he knew no one could do anything like that in that short amount of time what would you do I know what I would do. 
how to get out of there. A comedian named Blake, who also worked as a doorman, didn't believe in ghosts. Isn't that always the thing? The ones that don't believe? Well, let me tell you the story. One night when he was closing up, he saw a bar stool slide across the stage. So, because of course he didn't believe, he decided that he was going to mess with the ghosts. We're not sure what he did, but whatever he did, the ghost didn't like it. An ashtray flew across the room, missed him, and smashed into a million pieces against the brick wall. Then there was Michael, who handled the event to the comedy store. He once claimed that he saw a ghostly figure in a 40s outfit walk past him while he was on the phone. Becker believes that the ghost was a murder victim killed by mobsters during that time period. Can you still hear the screams? The most haunted part of the comedy store seems to be the basement, where people will see mists and anomalies and just feel a sense of dread and unwell being. The comedy store is located on Sunset Strip in Hollywood. If you ever want to go have some laughs, you know where to go now. Just be careful. If you enjoy these true scary stories, please leave a comment below. Also, you can support the Patreon, and please check out Zombie with a Shotgun and The Chair. Support indie film. That's what this is all about. Thank you.